Welcome. I invite you to subscribe, like, and share this story. We really appreciate your support. And I want to thank those people who share their stories and write to me by email. Thank you very much. It is difficult for the channel to form content without you. Enjoy the journey. My wife, with whom we have been married for eight years, had sex with a man through a social network. She said it happened for the following reasons. She has never been happily married. She has never had a relationship with anyone as long as we have together. She felt she didn't deserve it. My wife didn't feel like she was behind Stonewall with me. She is one of those women who constantly doubts, so she did not believe that I loved her. A two-year break in the ovulation cycle due to pregnancy and medical problems. My wife has created a new account on the social network. She started a correspondence with the first guy who contacted her and sent him her photos. She invited him to her house not believing that he would come since he lived four hours away. He showed up, they met, and had sex. Here's such a banal sex acquaintance with her happened. The full version of events from the words of his wife, they arrived at a secluded place. At that moment, she received a text message from me, read it, and the guy removed the car seat from the back seat and put it in the trunk. He went into the back seat and she followed him. His wife seemed to be standing behind him and saying, I need to go home. My baby has woken up. He said, oh, what a pity. She felt guilty. She sat down and asked if he had a condom. He said no. Then he looked at her and kissed her. She said she didn't want him to kiss her, but she didn't stop him either. It lasted from 30 seconds to a minute. Then he undressed. She thought for a moment, considering whether she should do this. But the conflict within her did not last long, and she agreed to treason. At first, she wasn't upset about it. It seemed to her that everything is fine, but just before the beginning of intimacy, this feeling disappeared, but it was too late, and the sex acquaintance took place. So, there was treason, and I grew horns. After that, she began to feel guilty, and later realized that she was remorseful. Initially, she was excited, doing all this publicly, adrenaline was beating, but everything was replaced by a feeling of disgust for herself, for herself, for her sex acquaintance. She started thinking about how to leave, how to end our marriage. She had such thoughts. What should I say? What will I do? Will he get angry? In the end, she decided to tell everything. I do not know what to do or think. Since then, she has been sad and depressed. She says she felt like she was being pulled by strings. I'm confused. It's completely out of character for her. I love her. I don't want to hurt her. I want to have my old life the way it was before. There were a lot of hysterical statements from both sides, but soon anger and pain flared up in me. Now it's been eight weeks since the betrayal. I don't know if I should leave and start all over again or stay and work on the relationship. I know that people on forums say that the pain never goes away, but people in real life have told me that they have overcome it. What to do? Besides, how plausible does her version of events look? A little strange in my opinion, sex acquaintance. Janet Community Members Advice I'm sorry this happened to you. It sucks. My husband also had an affair. Trying to get my husband to work on the relationship, I still divorced him, as he continued to contact women on social networks behind my back. I caught him and kicked him out. Over the next year and a half, he dated other women, but he also dated me constantly. I was stupid. He wanted to come back, tried everything he could, using the children as an excuse to come every day. He finally tired me out. As soon as I stopped letting him communicate with me, he severed all his ties. After that, we resumed our relationship and after a few months of meetings with him, he moved home again. Now we have been together for 11 years and we have a great marriage. We have both changed and we know what role his adventures played. I know what in me made him run to the left. I corrected my behavior and he drew conclusions from his behavior and this time he is a wonderful husband. I love him more than ever but the pain of those connections never goes away. Because of this, I have changed physically and mentally. There's a piece of my soul that has been torn away forever and it will never come back. I just wanted to tell you my story to explain that you can forgive, but you will always remember. However, if changes are made, you can save your marriage and possibly make it better. But the pain will always be in the background. I wish you good luck. It looks like you love her and want everything to work out for you. Blog author's advice. Buddy, your wife had sex with this man just because she wanted to, so she decided to have sex with him. This is completely clear from your narration. 
It seems to me that too often in our time, people who have entered into a marital relationship have various excuses. This only indicates an unwillingness to give up sex with others after getting married. She herself gave you this reason, pointing out that for the first time for so long with someone in a relationship, that is, she is not used to having sex with only one man for so long. If you're willing to accept her excuses or reasons why she decided to have sex with another guy, then you don't need advice. If I were you, I would consider the possibility that your wife went to this out of boredom. Do a little research, buddy. I have a feeling that this other man may not be your wife's first lover. Otherwise, she wouldn't have confessed to cheating on you. Apparently, guilt has been gnawing at her for a long time. And this sex acquaintance was the last straw. She no longer wants to bear the heavy burden of guilt on herself. And remember, having forgiven her, subconsciously she will never be able to respect you as a man. But if I decided to forgive, then I won't dissuade. It's wrong. Try to change yourself, and most importantly, see that your wife changes too. Good luck. Friends, what do you think you can advise the narrator? Write a comment, do not forget that our heroes read them. These are real people. Let me remind you, if you want to share your story, write to the mail. That's how you help shape the content of this channel. And don't be afraid, everything is anonymous. Now let's move on to the next story. Let's go. The remorse of a fornicating wife cheating due to lack of attention Let's start from the beginning. I met my husband at university. We were the same age. We have been together for eight years, and we have been married for four years. He is a good person, responsible, and earns well. He is a lawyer. He takes care of me, doesn't shout or mock me. However, he is terribly boring. He never reacts to my jokes and is always offended, although he tries to hide it. I tried to invite him to the club to dance, but he didn't succeed. He spends all his free time at the computer playing tanks and reading news about politics. I got used to it. I always did something of my own. Reading books, watching TV shows, chores around the house. But I always felt a craving for adventure inside. Our physical intimacy was rare by my standards. Several times a month for a couple of minutes in a classic pose. And that's it. And so the doctor advised me to go to the pool. My husband didn't want to go with me, so I went for a walk alone. There, I met Bernard, my lover. The first time we met, he swam up to me and said that I swim very funny, but it looks beautiful. I blushed because I haven't heard compliments in my address for a long time, and I'm not very confident in my figure. He was very friendly and offered to teach me how to swim. I agreed. I was not very good at swimming, and because of this, I did not pay attention to the technique. When he held my stomach, my feelings began to intensify, and I could no longer think about swimming. It lasted a couple of weeks. Bernard went to the pool at the same time as me. We had a good time together talking about something and laughing. He taught me to swim and gave me a ride home. Conflicting feelings buried inside me. I wanted Arthur and thought about him all the time. I was very ashamed and I didn't want to cheat on my husband. Everything happened very quickly. It happened on February 28 when I came to the pool at the usual time, but it was closed because of the sanitary day, which I did not know about. Bernard was already there and offered me a ride because the swimming session didn't take place. I agreed, although I understood what all this would lead to. I couldn't help myself. We went to some quiet area. There was a railway crossing and a forest around. I'm ashamed to say this, but I've never felt so good. He didn't ask about anything and did whatever he wanted. And that was what I dreamed of when I was shy. Then everything started spinning. I stopped going swimming. Instead, I went to Bernard all the time. I could have done it as much as I wanted. My husband would never have guessed. He's sure I'm just going to the pool, but I'm disgusted with myself. On the one hand, I'm happier than I've ever been before, but on the other hand, I feel like a traitor. I betrayed my husband, who loves me and trusts me. What should I do? Write tips in the comments, only the truth without regrets. Blog author's advice. I understand that you are ashamed and you are experiencing conflicting feelings because of the situation in which you find yourself. Infidelity can really be a difficult problem and it is important to approach it honestly and with a sincere desire to resolve the situation. Here are some tips on how to deal with these difficult circumstances. Reflect on your actions. Take some time to think deeply about why you did what you did. Understanding the underlying causes of your behavior can help you eliminate the root causes and make more informed decisions in the future. Communicate with your partner. An open and honest conversation with your husband is crucial. 
While it may be a difficult conversation, communication can help both of you better understand each other's points of view and explore potential solutions together. Seek professional help. A consultation with a psychotherapist or marriage counselor can provide you with support and an unbiased space to explore your emotions and work on solving basic problems. A professional can guide you through this process and promote healthy communication between you and your husband. Evaluate your relationship. Take a step back and assess the overall state of your relationship. It is important to think about whether you and your husband are ready to work on restoring trust and healing your relationship, or perhaps it would be more profitable for both of you to go the other way. Personal Growth and Self-Reflection Focus on personal growth and self-improvement. Understanding your own needs, desires, and boundaries can help you make the right choices and establish healthier relationships in the future. Remember that in such situations, there are no easy answers or quick solutions. Overcoming emerging emotions and problems will take time, effort, and openness. Maybe the advice of our community will help you more. Friends, write what you think this girl should do. She will be waiting for your comments, and she will definitely read it. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shaping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.